video that is like how to stay healthy in the winter time literally being healthy you guys know is probably the best feeling ever so I want to continue that feeling during the winter months but usually it's so hard to get inspired to work out or to just be healthy in the winter months because I feel like all of us just want to be like cozy up in our beds doing nothing this video is to like inspire you guys and give you guys tips on how you guys can stay healthy in the winter time and if it's not winter where you are you guys can still use these tips so I'm really excited for this video and let's just get right on into it. So us millennials are always on our phones. We are always texting and snapchatting and tweeting and doing all of those amazing things. But just think of how many times you put your phone down on a school desk or just some public place and think of how many germs are on that thing so I would definitely suggest getting like an alcohol swab and wiping down your phone because it's to your ear and you're always holding it and that's just incredibly gross <laughs> The heating in your house usually dries out the air which makes you get chapped lips and nosebleeds and just really dry in general so having a humidifier will moisturize the air and that's always a good thing. The next thing I would say is to get enough sleep. I use the bedtime thingy on the iPhone. It's like the app that sets how much time you wanna be sleeping for. There's a bunch of apps that can help you to go to bed earlier and to wake up earlier. So definitely get enough sleep and you'll always be energized and it will help you not get sick. Y'all know to always wash your hands a lot. Especially if you go to school, there are so many greasy people. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But just wash your hands a lot. It's, it's always good. The next thing is to moisturize a lot. Once again, the winter can definitely dry out your hands and a lot of different parts of your body, like your elbows or your knees, your face. So whenever you can moisturize, make sure to do that. The next thing is to sip a lot of tea, um, you know, the one that you actually drink. There are so many teas out there that can help with different things. They can help with sleep, stress, focus, literally anything you need, there's a tea for it. And they're also really good at detoxifying your body and for speeding up your metabolism. So I definitely suggest drinking a lot of tea. Next, I would say consume a lot of vitamin D. I Oh, okay, well, my laptop just died. Okay, I'll be right back. It's always a good thing to have a lot of vitamin D because you're not getting a lot of the sun in your regular day. The next thing is to definitely stay active and this can be doing yoga, doing workouts, just doing like a more intense stretch, going for a walk, a run, like literally doing We Just Dance. Am I literally from 2004? I don't know why I referenced that, but doing any type of activity that you like. Today I just found this yoga workout on Pinterest and I did it and I've been so motivated to work out recently and I honestly feel so much more energized and just like happy and less, you know, gross. And I don't know what this pose is, don't ask. And that's it, folks. So thank you guys so much for watching that video. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.